It's Tuesday, August 12th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. North Korea doesn't like the UN's report on its human rights record, so it's decided to publish its own. The Hermit Kingdom's Association for Human Rights Studies has announced the report will challenge the quote, lies and fabrications compiled by so-called hostile forces. Governments and NGOs commonly list North Korea as one of the world's worst human rights offenders. The UN's latest account, released in February, detailed a range of systemic abuses, including murder and torture. Japan is proud of the growing popularity of its animated movies and cartoons, but wants everyone to pay for them. The government has launched a campaign against the piracy of anime cartoons and manga comics, with more than a dozen publishers and production companies. The Manga Anime Guardians project monitors the internet for illegally uploaded media and redirects fans to official paid content. The penalty for piracy in Japan ranges from 2 to 10 years in prison, but that hasn't helped the problem. The consortium claims the industry loses an estimated $20 billion a year over pirated material. From action hero to martial artist, Steven Seagal has taken the next chapter of his career to the Crimean Peninsula. The American actor and musician says he played a gig with his blues band in the city of Sevastopol over the weekend to unite people, but some people might be skeptical of his motives. Seagal performed for a crowd of concert goers waving Russian and pro-Russia separatist flags. The star has come under fire for his support of Russia's annexation of Crimea in March and has said he'd even consider applying for Russian citizenship. There may soon be a baby boom in Iran, or at least that's what the government wants. The country's parliament has just voted to ban permanent forms of birth control, such as vasectomies and tubal ligation, or tube tying. In May, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei called on Iranians to procreate to, quote, strengthen national identity against undesirable aspects of Western lifestyles. State media says doctors who violate the ban will be punished. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world.